Many, many years ago, I was sitting as part of a panel interviewing for a sales role. We were looking for someone who had about seven to ten years experience in sale. Now, by the time we were seeing the third candidate, we kind of felt we were arriving um, at the ideal candidate. Only, he couldn't explain almost a year's gap in his resume. We kept prodding, kept asking to say, where were you in this past one year? What were you doing? Look, any gap upwards of six months is considered a gap in your resume. Welcome to the podcast for The Working Girl. As this is a high employability period, January to March, um, Business News Daily and lots of researchers say so, I'll be taking you through a two-part employability series. And we're starting with how to respond to employment gaps. Now, fast forward with this guy's story. Because he was such a great candidate, we asked human capital to go back and have a quiet conversation with him because we kind of felt maybe he was intimidated by the panel. It turns out that in the one year his father passed and he had to support his mother in her petty trading business. Now this was so ironic because he was interviewing for a sales role. He had done so many other sales roles and he could have either described himself as someone who was took time off to go start a startup sales business or whatever. But the truth is, if you do have more than a six-month employment gap, you should pause to have a think about what happened during that period and how you explain it to anyone who's interviewing. So here are a few guidelines. First, you've got to be honest. I say often that the world has gotten so much smaller and any attempt at lying, you would be found out. So be honest, for honesty is key. Now you must think carefully about how you would like to explain this because without an explanation, the people who are interviewing you are going to make different assumptions. The first thing I'm going to say to you is to, whilst explaining to reassure, whilst reassuring, reassure with the lessons or the value that you created during the period of the gap. In explaining, keep the explanation short, concise. In explaining and to strengthen your explanation, you can also, you know, add up a referral in need. So let's say he really did say he was um, helping his mother put together her petty trading business. He could have, as example, found, you know, the strongest purchaser of his mother's product as a referral or which other referral that he would have thought relevant. I often say that every work is respectable. So really, anything that you are doing is respectable as long as it is not theft or illicit. So I think that the the power and the success is in the way that you explain what it is that you've been doing. Employment gaps are also not uncommon. People pause to take time for round-the-world trips, take time to care for ailing loved ones, people take time to go back to school, people take time to treat life-threatening ailments, or people actually, because this is real life, as I often say, went to jail. So the truth is, um, and now speaking to the hiring managers, you should be looking out for these few things, regardless of how much gap the person has. Does the person have the experience and potential to do this role? Is the person motivated? Can you, can does, do, you, do you feel from the interview and from the experiences that he shares that he is motivated? Do you think that the person has integrity? Look, once you have ascertained that, I think neither gender, race, color, or anything else should matter. Um, so this has spoken both to the person who has the gap and the person who's recruiting. I hope that you'll both take out time so that you can get the right candidates. Best wishes and see you again next week.